This is a case of fecic IOL implantation. As you know, fecic can be, IOL can be divided into posterior chamber IOL or anterior chamber IOL. Anterior chamber can be further stratified into iris claw or angle supported. And as you know, the angle supported lens has been withdrawn from the market for the endothelial decompensation that usually caused by this kind of angle supported lenses. Now we are going to implant the posterior chamber IOL, which is typically known as implantable columnar contact lens, and this is the ICL. So uh, now we are going to get this lens outside the container, and we are going to load the lens into the cartridge. So this is the cartridge dedicated for the lens. It has been filled with DSS and methyl cellulose. So I'm going now to put the lens into the dedicated part into the cartridge. The lens should be present in the upright position. So the convexity of the lens should be up and the concavity of the lens should be down. But sometimes it's quite difficult to demonstrate this, but you can make sure that you have put the lens into the correct position by looking at the knobs, at the uh, angle, at the haptic. So here, can I have uh, this one? Uh, let me show you here, so we can just grab this lens outside and to see here, very small faint knob. As you can see, this is the concavity of the lens. The lens is concave from inside, convex from outside, so it's better to put it in the correct position. Of course, we should handle the lens with extreme gentleness. And now, you're going to load the lens. I prefer, as you can see, this is the Q-tip portion, and this is the other end of the, this uh, instrument. So I prefer to use the other end, the plastic end, to get better control on the lens. So as you can see now, I have folded the lens with the three dots should be in one line facing upwards. So the lens now is, as you can see here, it's something like this. The convex part in the up, concave down, and the haptics are folded on either side. So now the lens is in correct position. We are going to grab this lens into the nozzle of the cartridge. So because the lens is extremely thin and friable, so we can just grab this one and we are not going to pull the lens, but rather to move the cartridge. As you can see, the left hand is moving outside the field while the right hand holding the lens is just in the middle. So now the lens is being placed into the cartridge. We are going to place the cartridge into the dedicated injector system. lock. Now we're going to push the lens. The lens should be pushed with ease. There is no force required to push the lens. Otherwise, you have to check that the lens is in the correct loading position. 